Hi guys, it's Kelly Fosco, the Sunshine Crafter. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be using Trinity Stamps Blooming Bunch Stamp Set, but I'm going to be using the butterfly here instead of the main image of the stamp because I just wanted to stretch the use of the stamp set, which I've been using a lot of lately. And I'm also going to be using Trinity Stamps Envelope Builder. Now with that set comes this scalloped, uh, stitch scallop frame, a reverse scallop frame die. And this is a great die set to have, especially now with the slimline card craze. Everybody's making them. And you can go ahead and buy slimline envelopes, but I prefer to make my own. And this die set allows me to do that. So I love it. Now here, I just wanted to show you real quick, I was using a pair of tra uh, plastic transparency to stamp my image so I didn't have to clean it each time. I was trying to figure out where to put it. So that's what you saw me doing there before with the plastic transparencies. Always keep yours, don't throw them out. They are highly useful. Okay, next step here, I'm just taped down my uh, watercolor cardstock here and I had embossed it with Clear Wow Clear Embossing Powder on top of Versamark, not Versamark, I'm sorry, Versafine Black Onyx Ink, on Pigment Ink, and I'm using distre Distress Ink Reinkers here. Now you can use any medium, you can use the ink pads, you can use watercolor, you can use liquid watercolor. I just happen to have these on hand and just picked out the colors I wanted and just went ahead with that. When you're watercoloring, always remember that your watercolors dry back lighter. So here, what I did was a wet on wet technique. I used my silver brushes. I wet the cardstock pretty, pretty wet. You know, I made it, I didn't sop it, but I made it where it had a nice shine to it. And I just dropped in my colors here and my Roy G. Biv. And the colors and the supplies I'm using will be linked below. And the green, I added a little bit more because I noticed one spot was a little dark and the other area was lighter. So I just added a little bit more green. Now here I want to show you my new favorite tool. This is Trinity Stamps Teflon tool. I'm going to be doing another video featuring, you know, focusing on this. Because if you have a problem making your cardstock line up properly, you know how sometimes when you fold it, it's off center or it's crooked and you get that overhang. This tool will pro prevent that from happening, and I'll show you that more in an upcoming video. So here I'm using the Celebration Borders die set, and I'm going to be just using the Happy Birthday from this set. It's got the words Happy Birthday to you, and I'm just using Happy Birthday, and it comes with a shadow as well. In the interest of saving time, I just went ahead and die cut the word happy birthday out of some black cardstock and the shadow I'm using vellum. Now here's a little uh, trick for you or tip or whatnot. If you want to line up your dropout letters and you want to get them perfect, use the negative piece. Just put whatever you want behind it as your shadow layer. Um, in this case, I'm using vellum and I'm just using my multimedia mat. Just adding a little bit of glue to my H and I got a reverse tweezer just holding my vellum in place and I'm just adding my letters real quick. That's it. And then I remove the vellum and my letters are in perfect placement just like they were, you know, like it was meant to be. Just like the die set has intended it to be. <laughs> so that's it. I'm going to skip forward here in a moment so you don't need to see me glue down each and every letter. But this way I was able to get them perfectly lined up on the vellum. You could also adhere it with a piece of maybe washi tape and on the back just to hold it in place. I just use reverse tweezers. They work good enough for me. Now here I'm using the reverse tweezers again just to hold my cardstock closed while I went ahead and just added some glue to behind my letter so you can't see it on the vellum. And just added those on there real quickly. Not, not, nothing crazy, just lining up th those up right where I want them to be. And then I'm going to use a clear, I'm not, I'm, this isn't clear, this is a sparkle pen from Sakura. It's a little hard to see on camera, but these make these little shiny, sparkly, 
marks. I, I really love these pens for doing little embellishments like this, little, just little, adds a little extra something to the card without being too overwhelming. So I'm just doing a couple dots on the wings and then I'm going to use a white jelly roll pen as well to make some marks on the, on the butterfly wings as well. Now here I'm using Trinity Stamps uh, Jelly Drops. Oh, I'm going to slow it down. It's a little, tried to show you on camera the shine from those pens, but you can't really see it on camera. You can see it in person. So here I'm using Boiled Sugar Mix Jelly Drops. They're clear droplets from Trinity Stamps. They're all different sizes. I added those to my project. And now I'm using a black Sparkle Spectrum Noir pen. I'm going to close up, go close up here so you can see. And I'm just going over the letters very carefully. I didn't stack the letters three high like I normally do. I didn't want to add too much dimension to this card. I wanted to keep it kind of flat, so that's why I didn't do that. So I'm being very careful here when I add the black, not to get it onto my vellum there. So that just made some sparkle on the letters, made it look real pretty. Just added a little extra something. And that's it. I added, now here, I want to show you the Slimline Builder Envelope Maker and Slimline Envelope Maker. This, I just, and again, in the interest of saving time, I just used a piece of Bristol cardstock and I blended the same colors of Distress Ink onto my panel and I die cut my panels out from my envelope maker and I just added double-sided tape to the outside flaps, not the inside because the inside will be on the inside of the card. You want to put the tape on the outside flaps and they fold in. So you'll see me doing that here. I just added tape to the outside which they fold in so that's where the tape will adhere to and I'm just putting down my pieces now it's important you put your flaps on first then your top flap and your bottom flap because they will be on the outside you'll see here in a moment and now I'm gluing I'm using tape gluing those down now here comes the outside flap obviously I'm not going to glue the top one shut because then I won't be able to put my card inside <laughs> so there's my envelope to match my birthday card and that's it i just want to show you here how nicely it slides in and i'm just going to write the recipient's name on the front of the card and see it, this card will slide right inside nice fits perfectly it still has a little room if the card had it some had some dimension you could add some tape here or glue it shut i'm just going to wind up using tape just to tape it shut add the recipient's name on the front and this way they have a nice envelope which matches their card now i'm going to show you another envelope i made also for a future card which i'll be making not on video but this is one i used trinity stamp sunflower builder bouquet and i used some india ink to black out the center part where i put the recipient's name and i want to show you as well this also slides nice inside perfect this is a great set to have for all you slimline card makers, and I'm just crazy about it. I'm going to be making a lot of these envelopes. And so there's my two envelopes I just wanted to show you real quick. And that's it. So if you get a chance, please consider liking and subscribing and checking out Trinity Stamps for more inspiration. Have a great day.